Well, we've seen plenty of evidence this fall that our country faces a number of contentious public policy challenges. But this morning, we're discussing one of the most intractable of those issues, immigration reform. It's an issue that has always been at the forefront of the Jewish community's agenda, as Gary indicated. Indeed, before the creation of the State of Israel, immigration was priority number one for American Jewry. The Jewish community in this country is a product of immigration, and it's always been our conviction that we need to actively participate in the national discussion about immigration's future. I should add that when we do so as representatives of, of B'nai B'rith, a 501c3 not-for-profit, we approach this and other issues not as partisan Democrats or Republicans, but simply as Jewish community members who are concerned about the welfare of our country. But immigration is an issue we haven't heard much about in, in recent months. While phrases like government shutdown, debt ceiling, fiscal cliff, sequestration, and of course Obamacare have become part of our political lexicon, immigration has been overshadowed, notwithstanding a large consensus that our current immigration system is broken and badly in need of reform. That may soon change, however. Supporters of immigration reform have pledged to keep fighting despite indications that there might not be enough time left on this year's legislative calendar to act on the issue. Our hope is that the Republican-controlled House will pass legislation that could lead to negotiations with the Democratic-controlled Senate. On June 27th, the Senate passed a comprehensive bill that includes a massive investment in border security and a, a pathway to citizenship for many of the estimated 11 million undocumented immigrants who have settled in the United States. Most observers believe, as a practical matter, lawmakers have at most a few months to act on immigration reform before Congress is paralyzed by the 2014 midterm election politics. And if immigration reform stalls, it's likely there won't be another serious legislative push until after the 2016 presidential race. So clearly, now is the time, but unfortunately, this is the environment. Let me show you. This is uh, a copy of a um, very well-respected um, uh, political paper called, called Politico. And the headline is uh, big enough for it to serve as a visual aid, even for those in the back of the room. Done. Congress is through legislating for the rest of 2013. So, Washington gridlock continues, it seems, to make progress on this and other major issues exceedingly difficult. With us today to sort through the landscape is a panel of experts who will approach this from several different vantage points. Representing the administration is Esther Olivaria, the Director for Immigration Reform on the White House National Security Staff. She's on detail from the Department of Homeland Security, where she was Deputy Assistant Secretary for Policy. She previously served as Senator Ted Kennedy's Immigration Counsel on the Senate Judiciary Committee and as a senior advisor for UNHCR, the UN Refugee Agency. Jennifer Rajeski is a longtime health policy advocate and analyst. She advocates for federal, state, and local policies at, at the National Immigration Law Center and specializes in the effort to provide low-income immigrants meaningful access to affordable health care and health insurance. Prior to joining NILC, she directed the health advocacy program at the New York Immigration Coalition, where she worked in, in partnership with healthcare providers, legal and social service agencies, and community-based organizations. As president and CEO of HIAS, 
the Hebrew Immigrant Aid Society. Mark Hetfield is the Jewish community's leading expert on immigration issues. Mark has held a number of positions in the field of immigration and, and refugee law in the private, nonprofit, and government sectors. But like a homing pigeon returning to its base, Mark has come back to high us for, I understand, five non-consecutive incarnations, currently as president and CEO, and by my reckoning, um, this is a, a reference I think Dan Mariasha would appreciate, you, ha um, you have served in as many positions as high as, or at many as many times in positions as high as, as Billy Martin served as manager <laughs> of under George Steinbrenner. And, and uh, you, you, you keep coming back, and appropriately so, because clearly the work isn't done yet. And also participating in our discussion this morning is my colleague, Rachel Goldberg, who is B'nai B'rith's Director of Aging Policy. And in that capacity, she's our, our resident expert on issues impacting seniors, including a number of topics that are implicated in the immigration debate, uh, including healthcare, minimum wage, and government entitlement programs. And uh, we established in our, uh, in our uh, little session in the green room just now that uh, Esther Olivario would go first, uh, speaking on behalf of the administration. 